Okay, moving on to the next uh, crime here. Stealing designs from a smaller oh, designer. Our favorite. Yeah, we're very familiar with this. Austin came across some headband designer he was a fan of and reached out to see if they wanted to collaborate. The designer goes by the name of Urban Trademark 7. The two gentlemen meet up and they allegedly agreed on doing a collab. Shortly after this meeting, Austin released his own headbands that looked like a ripoff of <laughs> Urban Trade 7's design. Austin also allegedly copied his mobile merch store idea as well. So let's look at the evidence here. Now here's on the right is the DMs between them that this guy posted. Austin said, what's good, bro? I randomly popped in your shop today and I got a couple of headbands. I noticed your username on the tag and wanted to hit you up to see if you're interested in collaborating. Let me know. And he was just like, yeah, for sure. Let's meet up. Yada, yada, yada. So here, here's this guy kind of t retelling, uh. retelling. We've been getting a lot of comments lately uh, asking us what happened. What happened with the Ace family in this truck? So we just wanted to address it and let you guys hear firsthand from our mouths what really happened. He My first out. thought when I saw this video was like, turn the music up, bro. <laughs> Got a vibe. Turn that music up. Even, I don't want, I don't want yeah. to hear what he has to say. Just want to <laughs> chill for a minute. I think it's funny when they play the music too loud. <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oops. That's vibe. That's vibe. We've been That's hot. Right. Comments lately. And let you guys hear firsthand from our mouths. Mm. What Turn really it up! Happened. He reached out from the text messages that I post in the ah. show. Let's um, link up and try to put something together. We linked up. Uh, first thing when I got there, he's like, bro, did you bring some bands? Bro, I want to get some more from you. I'm like, yeah, I got some in the car. So then from there, I was like, all right, well, what I could do is I can make a couple exclusively for you and then we could sell them. And then, you know, when I link back up, I'll make them. When I link back up, we could negotiate like the price. And a couple days later, I seen on YouTube, he had on the band, some bands that looked like Fortnite for him and his daughter. <laughs> They was mad thick. They wasn't, I just know my work. And I was like, I was like, Lika, come here, look at this. So I hit him up. I'm like, bro, what's up with this? People do that, man. People- Turn it up. Really <laughs> it is really loud. Rip you off mm. So fast that I'm not the only one that's been done too. I'm pretty hey, sure. Hey, uh, but um, hey, feeling so this beat. Like, I can't really hear what he's saying. <laughs> Another thing was dope is I'm working on He should on be the shouting. Truck, oh, on the <laughs> drop. That um, we can like basically do rewind time. Where every band that I make exclusively for you, we pop up. We can. Zach, why are you playing Will Smith sound bites? Yeah, I feel like it's vaguely racist <laughs> that you're playing Will Smith sound bites. I just want to throw that out there. Like, what's the relevance? It, Other than it's that, they're just both the vibe. Black. I mean, like, I was. I didn't even put two and two together. Uh -huh. there. All right. Does Zach have a defense lawyer? Zach, uh, AIM, what do you say? In the, uh, do, would you like to prosecute Zach? Uh, I'm going to have to pass on this case. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he, was, he was just I, vibing. I wasn't trying to be racist. I was just a vibe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was enjoying it. I just thought I'd call you out. It's fine. Yeah. I was laughing when I heard Will Smith. Mm, it's rewind time. Ah. That's oh, hot. We've been getting a lot of comments lately. Just giving you our time. Keep it up. I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, I no, don't want to disrupt your creative juices, bro. Please don't. I'm working on the truck <laughs> that I'm about to drive. That um, we can like basically do pop-ups where every band that I make exclusively for you, we pop up, we can sell them, and then you know. This, All right, bro. I got, let me do. Let, you you okay. really suck at this. Let me explain better than you. Here, can you play some super loud music as I describe <laughs> what he's trying to say? Basically, Austin came, he said, yo, I like your headband, let's collab. Then he disappeared and he put out headbands similar to his. But then, what really pissed him off, turn it up! <laughs> turn it up, louder! And then what happened was, Austin, what really pissed him off was Austin went and made an ice cream truck merch store just like he had. And so, this guy's whole thing is he cruises around in an ice cream truck. That's how he sells his headband. So that Austin cruises up, turns up, and he's like, "Yo, I got a store." All right. Um, that is so that's the story. messed up.
Well, here, let me show you, and you can decide if you think. But I'm already, like, so upset by this because the Ace family, I don't know anything about them, but one thing I can tell for sure already, they're huge. And they're, they're rolling in it. They mm, got yeah. they got the bags, just right? Wait, they secured just wait. the bags. Just wait. So um, why are you going to do that to someone who's being a creative, independent artist? Mm. No, I agree. Like be a little generous, if anything. I agree. Yeah, you wanna you wanna help you wanna help people out who are trying to make it. You know, yeah. uh, especially independent artists. So here on the left is their headband. By the way, headband merch is pretty niche. So already it's like, but this yeah. is their merch. Their their headbands on the right are very like print all over, colorful uh, patterns, right? Mm -hmm. So so these are the two. There's no, it's not like a blatant ripoff of any of the designs. It's more like a, yeah, a, just conceptual coincidence. Pretty but, clear what happened, though, you know. I agree. And now here, so here's the truck thing. So this is his mobile truck that he cruises around and sells his headbands in. And then all of a sudden, the guy from Ace Family, Austin McBroom. Yeah. That's I'm going to fucking saying. sweep his ass out of this courtroom, <laughs> McBroom. <laughs> I don't know. And so this is his ice cream truck. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And so now, 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 Austin, by the way, gets defensive as usual and starts trashing on this dude on his uh, Instagram live. Listen. I think there was some other fucking random ass dude talking about I fucking copied his ice cream truck. Who the fuck is? I don't even know who the fuck he is. Oh, I really? forgot all about him. I met with this dude literally over a year ago. Talking about his headbands. I liked his headbands. Went to the store, saw some headbands, hit him up, wanted to collab. He didn't want to collab with me because he tried to say that the headbands were expensive. He was bullshitting. He was mm -hmm. trying to get over on me. So I said, you know what, bruh? By the way, you know that's not true. He definitely wanted to collab with you. It's a huge opportunity for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to have my grandma make me my own headbands. Because everybody sell headbands in the stores. Everybody, all the stores sell headbands. You ain't the first headband maker. Who the fuck you think you are? You the inventor of headbands? You idiot. So I made my old headbands. He got mad because I posted it and I had a little following. He got mad. I was wearing my headbands with L. He was like, a this dude, he, he tried to take my idea. He took my, the idea where you put the band around your head and you cross it and you tie it and you put it in your head. He stole that from me. Austin from the Ace family stole my art and I don't like him. Don't like him, right? So then, a year later, just like Fred, I'm, I'm oh, the Ace family's blowing up. I'm itching for that clout pill. I need that clout. Ace family blowing up. They got over 10 million subs. I'm trying to get some attention. He comes out after we have made an ice cream truck from SD Wraps. They literally customize this random as fuck. They came up with it with their by own. By the way, he starts by saying, I don't even remember this guy. And then he details every fucking <laughs> single thing that happened between them. It's like, you clearly remember it quite vividly. Real dude. quick, too. He, the offhanded mention of Fred. Yeah. I looked into that. Fred was their original director of their videos on their channel, uh, yeah. who they uh, stiffed for a bunch of money, and then huh. he revealed that he, they were actually only paying him 150 bucks per video. What? <laughs> 150 bucks? That's not even like going right. No, and he, that guy did a whole exposed thing as well. About that's not like, even a day rate for like a gaffer. No, that's not he a had agreed for a for a for PA. He had agreed yeah, to do it for that low I mean. for 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 credit in their videos, and then they didn't credit him, like oh they had agreed. God, upon. they're so, so wealthy too. Yeah. Like, why are you being so? Just wait, like the dude, the the cherry on top is coming. Oh, you think these really? motherfuckers are cheap? Just wait. I can't believe you this what, whole bro? thing. He's just out there shitting on this poor guy, I like know. for no reason. Sending, he said at this point he has ten million followers, so he's sending all that to this guy. And if you look at the comments, everyone's like, cry laughing emoji, <laughs> clapping. It's like, yeah, who the also, fuck watch this idiot? I don't know what he's thinking. That he's like doing some Eddie Murphy bit or something. So yeah, he thinks he's a comedian. Chill. You're not. He thinks he's Kevin Hart or something. Yeah. I need that clout. They made the ice cream truck literally in a day, right? We, we re release it. He tries to come out and say, we took his idea from getting an ice cream truck. <laughs> you know how many ice cream trucks are out there? 
What do you mean how many ice cream trucks are out there? <laughs> like, are you- you're not selling ice cream. Yeah. He's not accusing you of inventing an ice cream truck, bro. And did y'all see what his ice cream truck looked like? It's half the size of this. Cool, you're rich. You have oh, a big wow. ice cream truck. You definitely didn't copy him. Our ice cream truck is bigger. It's half the size of that shit. So? I'm just like, I'm going to start, I might really start selling the clout pill. Stop! That's going to really help people, like a lot. It's going to save a lot of lives <laughs> and keep a lot of people from getting in trouble. So I might invent the clout pill. So this is, this is what he says about all of the people who, I quote, are haters. He says they're trying to get the clout pill. Yeah, it sounds like he's ODing on that clout pill. <laughs> well, you know, if you're, if you're... <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you are uh have already Got him. named the clout pill, I think you may be having too many conflicts with people. Yeah. If you're already kind of you know what I mean? Hmm. Good point though. You gotta check the dosage on that, Yela. Right. <laughs>